Alrighty. Dexter says we're good to go. Alrighty. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Best title screen of any NES game, in my opinion. Alrighty. Alright, so we got three, two, one, go. Alrighty, so this is Robocop 2. Uh, for some reason, this isn't in the worst of the NES block. Not sure why. Alrighty, so the fastest way through at least this first stage is uh, avoiding all the enemies. It's uh, way slower to stop and shoot or uh, punch out any of the enemies. Alright, so the goal for every level in this game is to collect uh, at least 60% of the nuke, which are the little bottles, and uh, arrest or rescue 60% of the targets. Alright, so I got... So my route is specifically mapped out to get the minimum amount of each. And if I fail to get 60% in either one of them, uh, it takes you to this shooting gallery minigame, which is really, really slow. So that is not what we're going for. Alright, these factory stages are pretty scary. Almost everything in it kills you in one hit. Uh, this electricity, these gears, uh, if you see the ground right, right where I finished, right before it, uh, if you stand on that, that crusher comes down and kills you. Alright, so I successfully got that. Alright, we got the, probably the scariest level right here. I'm gonna hope I don't mess up. It's not this screen. Ooh! Alright. <laughs> uh, this isn't the, the bad screen to die on. And also, I expect uh, deaths in this run. Now we make it through the quick cycle. <laughs> Alright, just playing it safe here. Okay, there we go. I don't have to take an intentional game over now. Uh, if I fall off before that, before I take that intentional jump, that was an intentional uh, fall to grab that last nuke on the way down. Uh, if I fall off before that, uh, there's no possible way for me to collect enough nuke to get the 60% for this level. So that was the scariest part of the run, because I'd have to take an intentional game over. Luckily this game has infinite continues, so this game's getting beaten. Uh, this level is another super, super scary level. Uh, you see these guys popping up from the bottom and shooting. I believe they're completely random when they pop up. <laughs> uh, if you get shot while you're over the water, it uh, instantly kills your um, forward momentum and you fall straight down. So that guy juked me. And I tried to pull back. This is like the most... Oof. <laughs> and I get sniped again. This is like the most uh, butt clenched part of the run. They're, like, they're just completely random. So even if you try and wait them out, they can still just pop up and uh, get you. Oops, I shot that guy on accident. Oh, I'm just going. Okay, we got it. <laughs> yeah, I hate that part. That part kills a lot. Of, killed a lot of runs when I was doing attempts for this.
Yeah, you probably can't tell. Uh, but Robocop controls horribly. Maybe you can tell. Based on how uh, my inability to stop on uh, one or two of those. He is extremely sluggish to get up to full speed. And then once he gets up to full speed, uh, he's like a he's like a truck. You cannot stop him. I collect that nuke like while I'm crouching. Alright, everything in this stage kills you in one hit. These jelly beans. Oh shit. Oh wow, that was lucky. <laughs> yeah, I would not have gotten enough nuke if I missed that uh that one that I barely got. Yeah, so when you're on regular ground he controls super sluggish. Alright, this level's kinda scary. That should be fine. Pick up an invincibility here. Oh, and that guy despawned. <laughs> One of the guys I have to arrest despawned. That's uh, pretty common. Just pick up that guy there. Nice. That's the tough jump right there. Okay, good. <clears throat> yeah, so when you're on regular ground, he controls really sluggish. But as soon as you get on a different platform, like in... One of these factory levels, uh, he controls way different and moves way faster. Like he has instant top speed. Once again, any of these whirlwinds touch me, I die. I touch an enemy, I die. So this leads to a super, super stressful uh, run if you're actually doing attempts. We got past those jelly beans. Dying at the end of these levels is a huge, huge time waster. Alrighty. This is our first boss fight? Yeah. First boss fight against Heisenberg. That's what I call him. Alright, there's a glitch that I, that, I, that I did there. I don't know how it works. There's one task of this game uh, from like six or seven years ago, I think, that I found on YouTube, and it would pause during this boss fight, and it speeds up the cycle that he, uh, that he was shooting his gun at, and he only has a, he has a limited number of shots before he, he comes at you. So, I don't know what it does, but I randomly pause, and he speeds up his cycle. <clears throat> sometimes it goes crazy fast, sometimes it makes it go slower. I have no idea how it... Oh, okay. Oh, nice. I got that guy. <clears throat> that was sketchy. <laughs> Alright, we're good, though. <clears throat> Yeah, but that, uh, that old TAS had some really poor routing in it, so my, uh, my current record is actually faster than that TAS, Pure, purely due to, uh, routing differences, but still, I'll take it. <laughs> Sacrifice that hostage there. <laughs> sake of speed. <clears throat> Alright, so we haven't failed to collect 60% uh, of either so far. That's really good. Alright, we got the task jump right there, jumping over that missile. That missile carries you, if you get hit by it, carries you all the way to the end of the screen. And, uh, kills you at the very end. Like, it'll take you like just before the finish and then kills you. It's a really good taunt. Hopefully you don't get to see it. There's one more chance that it could get me. 
All right, and these green platforms I'm on with the arrow, uh, as soon as you land on them, <clears throat> your controls are instantly reversed. So as soon as I land on it, I go from pushing right to pushing left on the D-pad. And then as soon as I land on regular ground, it goes back to normal. All right, this level's scary. There we go, duck that missile. There's another task jump to jump over that missile, but I'm not gonna attempt that. Safe strats. You can get through that that guy's shots, but it's pretty tight. You don't want to have to do any of these levels over again. <clears throat> All right, so we got the last stage coming up, and now we're on to the final boss. Uh, the stage is usually pretty scary because. I, I died on one of the like previous, like immediately previous levels, and after you die, you only get uh, 20 health, and I have 60 health right now, which is way, ooh, way more than enough. But yeah, falling in any of these pits, you die. All right, that was the last scary jump. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna beat it. We're gonna beat the game. All right, so we got final boss. <clears throat> Worst boss of any of the games I speed run. Most annoying. All right, so I gotta shoot this guy a hundred times while he's shooting all this crap at me. There's pokeballs at you. Nothing like ending all that annoying, stressful platforming with just raw, straight mashing to beat the final boss. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> but at least you know when you get to the final boss, you're gonna beat him. And even if you game over on the final boss, you uh, you get continues. All right, so you're like, oh, I beat him. Oh, uh, nope, didn't beat him. You have to shoot him a hundred more times, but this time you can only shoot him in the legs. Yeah, this boss is awful. Yeah, somehow in my, uh... Stop shooting me. Oh, don't, don't jump into his missiles. Somehow in my, uh, actual record run... Uh, I managed to gold this, which is, you can hardly go faster on this, so I don't know how I got a gold split. Okay, you can stop shooting me. Yeah, you see his health on the bottom right going down. Alright, so you're like, oh, I killed him again. Nope! Third form. This is the final form. And you have to shoot him a hundred more times. So this boss, you have to hit 300 times. To, to kill him. Uh, time's gonna be coming up. You can just uh, do time uh, when the screen goes to black. After he, uh, he'll explode and then walk backwards off the screen and then the screen will go black. <laughs> and this is what you get. Well done in Robocop's weird face. You've destroyed Robocop 2 and saved the city from bankruptcy. But you are reminded that Robocop's performance can always be improved. After all, he is only human. And apparently this was designed by painting by numbers. Whatever that is. Alrighty, so that's it for me. Uh, stay tuned for more in the RoboCop block. Uh, Insult's playing RoboCop vs. Terminator next. Uh, should be good. Alrighty. <laughs>